What's going on everybody, Quaker here, back with another video. Today, I'm taking a look at an app called Taskbar X. And Taskbar X, basically what it is, is it's an application that allows you to change where your taskbar icons are on your taskbar. So you can either have it far left, far right, in the middle, like Mac OS, you can have it anywhere. You can even change the pixels, I'm looking at it here. You can even change the pixel count of where the taskbar will be for all of your icons. I currently have it in the middle and let's take a look. Let's see the good, the bad, and some suggestions on what to improve this application. This is Taskbar X. So here it is, my desktop for Taskbar X. So you can see here, I have pretty much taken away all the icons uh, and gotten away with just everything on my desktop. I like a clean setup. And then right down below, you notice one thing that I said in the intro, that my taskbar, everything has been centered, just kind of how I like things. I like the way Apple does Mac OS with centering icons. Um, and like I said, at the end of this video, I'm going to say some suggestions to the developer on what they could possibly improve on this application. So right off the bat, uh, you see the taskbar is just centered, like I said before. And on top of that, if I go and type in taskbar X configurator right there, you'll see here, this is the configurator for taskbar X and it has multiple different things you can do with it. So it's got your style area, which basically allows you to uh, have transparent backgrounds, blur and acrylic. So the difference between the two and even default. Uh, so this is default here. You got to let it refresh. So the default is this. So obviously it loads and then it loads back in. So this is the default. Um, pretty much the usual windows look you see how it is when I drag it down there's not much see-through or anything like that and then you got transparent which is what I had it on it's letting that load up you can see down when I drag it down you see there's no background on any of the icons and you can see it just looks to me it looks really clean and crisp when I do that it does make it hard to see if your background is white on whatever thing you're dragging around because you won't be able to see the the icons anywhere on the quick launch or anything and then if I go to blur you can see here that it is blurred now. You can even tell just by looking at the water. But if I put my thing down there, you see the undo and redo buttons there. You can see they are blurred out, which is really cool again. And then last thing, the acrylic, just showing you all the colors or the different types. So if you get acrylic, it's just, it's it's opaque, but it's acrylic at the same time. So it, it's still kind of see-through, but not really. It's more just for the background and acrylic look. But I'm going to keep it on transparent just because... I just like it looking just sharp and just everything looking like one experience. Um, then next tab, you got animation. So animation, there's a lot of them. I don't really want to go through all of them, but they let you choose a ton of different animations or no animation. And basically, I think that is when you click on stuff. It says here, uh, select the animation you want to use when taskbar, you, you want taskbar X to use to move the taskbar. So it'll slide it or do some things like that. For me, I just keep it pretty simple on the back ease in and out. Um, animation style on battery so you can change it so that way let's say if you don't want something that does too many animations so your battery doesn't drain a lot you can either you can even just turn it off you scroll to the very top you can turn off animations I just keep it pretty simple and also you can change the uh, animation speed of when how fast it moves your taskbar around and then the next tab here you have the position so basically this is what I was talking about in the intro where uh, you can keep it in the center if you keep it at zero 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 pixels on your main monitor and zero pixels on your secondary monitor so this is my main monitor that I'm using and my laptop monitor that has my recording software is on my left so that is actually my secondary but on my main monitor here let's say if I want my icons in the center to move 10 pixels and then if I hit apply you can see they load back and then they come back in and you can see they're not exactly centered, but they are centered. Uh, and then if I do this again to 100, you can see a big change there. So you see how it happens there. It just it moves it not too, too much. It moves it just enough to be sane with it. So like if I want to do a thousand pixels. Uh, that I want to move my icons and stuff like that and it compensates for the system tray if you set that you see uh, It gives space for the system tray there. So you see it went too far and so I can't really see much So I'm gonna put it back down to like let's say a hundred again And then you'll see that all the icons that I have come back up and show up again So you see all that it looks like there's a little less space on this side than there is on this side That's gonna bother me. So I'm gonna keep it at zero and then it'll be centered again. So by default, zero, zero or zero means centered 
um, use it says use negative uh, use the minus symbol for negative numbers so if you want it to go more left you use negative uh, if you want it to go more right you just keep it positive numbers uh, and then the next thing here also it says here compensate system tray clock so here it says center between start search etc and the tray says here and the tray on the right with the clock volume keep the distance equal between them so it'll always keep the distance really well so that way you can still access your stuff then you got your task schedule so basically this what he says here is does taskbar not start run on startup well three seconds could be too early for taskbar x to start try increasing the number and the value in seconds so if you have some issues with taskbar x not showing up you can essentially just um modify this value so that way it loads correctly uh, for me three seconds works perfectly fine for me i'm running on an m.2 ssd and everything the computer's fast everything is good for me but other people let's say you are on a surface go may not work so well so that's that's how that works um and everything you do here you have to hit apply otherwise it won't do anything you can also restart taskbar x you can stop it all together and it'll just revert your taskbar back to this side here if you can find if you just like having your taskbar not centered but back to how it is but you want this transparent look that microsoft doesn't let you do you can set the position to whatever you know will get it perfectly here again and then you'll just have everything just like transparent like what i think a modern window should look like and then it says here on the extra it says only center primary taskbar only only center secondary taskbar and if you uncheck them by default it centers both of them um so basically if i want to uh, only center the taskbar on my laptop screen to my left here you guys don't see it um, I can do that by centering my secondary taskbar since I set this monitor here that I'm using as my main monitor so it has all my main stuff on it um, you can set the refresh rate and stuff it says taskbar uses a looper to detect changes in the taskbar the delay is 400 by default make it faster it says here to make it faster taskbar X to respond to a change but will increase CPU usage right now this razor blade laptop of mine it gives me so many issues with like the fan kicking up it's kicking up right now if you probably maybe can hear it so it's kind of annoying but it has that function and then here we have update taskbar toolbars it says if you have some special tool custom toolbars um, it says enable this to update the taskbar's position when the size of the tray changes so if you have any modifications like the net the net speed monitor and stuff it'll it'll update the position of all your stuff to make it pretty just in line and work right and it says here pause looper when the full screen app is running so are you a gamer it says well msaa may interfere with your game while playing it can cause keyboard and cause keyboard ghosting in some games enable this to pause taskbar s when you are in full screen so you don't have any issues so it just they he, the developer has thought of the many options to make taskbar x work correctly and then here it is right here the developer chris anderson um if i say his last name right i have no idea uh, so you can take a look at all his social media and all that stuff and follow him if you want to um, i highly recommend it he's constantly cranking this stuff out really well uh one thing now we're going to for taskbar x i'm gonna leave the screen up one thing that we're going to with taskbar x is that i like where he's going right now you see here that when you are highlighting things you see here uh you know it's kind of it's subtle you can see that i'm highlighting things but the thing i don't like is uh like there's this another concept developer uh well a concept artist named z alid i looked at some of his uh concepts before in a previous video which i'll link in the description below and basically he has animations for different things like if i do this notification action center he has he has like different animations for things i wish that like this developer and maybe when you hover over i don't know if it changes too much for windows i'm not sure because i'm sure these are just these are just the normal uh built-in windows hover animations when you hover over anything but this developer should if he can because i'm not a developer if he can update and maybe give different hover animations and things like that so that way when you hover over something maybe the like mac os the icon gets bigger so you can see you've hovered it because at first it's hard to tell whether or not you've highlighted anything especially with this kind of bright background so that's something that i really really want um, from the developer um another thing i'm not sure if it's too much trouble let me see what happens if i unlock my taskbar so it's got an invisible thing if i unlock my taskbar this is how it looks like so you can see i unlocked it and it kind of stays in line so i think all of this is really in line with what microsoft already has so let me lock my taskbar right there 
a lot of this is probably in line with my, what Microsoft already has, and he just tweaked a few things to let you adjust different things. But if it is possible, that would be a nice thing uh, change. Other than that, I don't really have many gripes for this. Maybe the only other gripe for this is, um, I mean, it's very minor and not necessary at all, but like maybe let you resize this window, make it smaller, make it bigger, because there's a lot of like white space here. Maybe just let you resize it to whatever you want. That would be probably nice. Other than that, I think, yeah, it's a quick video, but it's a very simple application that lets you um, do this. Taskbar X, I believe, was a dollar nine, so a dollar, a dollar nine cents U.S. Um, to buy it. So if you like this kind of thing, you can uh, support him and you know purchase it, pick it up. It's really cheap. It's like less than a McDonald's two pack of like apple pies, those delicious apple pies. So yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video was about Taskbar X. It's something that now I'm going to be just using permanently because uh, I like things being in the center. You can tell that this window here is pretty much in the center of the screen. Other than like how it overflows to here, I like maybe I might drag it over just a little bit. I like that OCD-ness of me. It keeps it nice. And then another thing too, before I go, um, this application to me would be very useful for like i'm about to pick up a very very ultra wide monitor in the next month and uh if when you have an ultra super ultra wide monitor it's kind of hard to turn your neck very far to like touch the um you know the start menu so it would be, it's a this is a good application that you can move your icons and things anywhere you want that way you don't have to keep turning your neck to see when you only have four things open me obviously i have more things open than that but if you only have a few things open and you have to turn your neck all the way to the left or all the way to the right to select them and squint, especially if you have the super ultra wide 49 inch monitors, it can be kind of a hassle. So this is really good also for ultra wide owners like I do, like I have. So, but yeah, let me know if you guys like this video. Um, let me know what else I should take a look at next. And if you are a developer, please give me an email or just send a message to me privately, Twitter, next windows, um, or even on the UWP community on discord. And uh, I like to look at your app and just to, you know, hopefully I know enough to do a good video on it. Yeah, my name is Kwaku and I hope you guys have a nice day. Take care, everybody.